It's a silent killer and too small to be seen, yet it contributes to 14 to 24,000 people dying each year in California. PM 2.5, air pollution particles smaller than 2.5 microns. The prime source of these life-shortening particles is diesel engine exhaust. Trucks are a significant contributor to this problem. The small combustion particles pass by the body's filters in the nose and throat, lodging deep within the lungs, where they alter and damage sensitive tissues. Study after study has confirmed that breathing uncontrolled diesel exhaust increases your risk of developing lung cancer, heart disease, and respiratory disease, even premature death for some people. Each new study brings sobering confirmation. PM 2.5 particles are even more dangerous than previously thought. Even at very low exposures, there are strong links to many adverse health effects. The Air Resources Board, or ARB, is proposing a new regulation to clean up dangerous air pollution emissions from the largest unregulated source of diesel emissions in the state, the hundreds of thousands of on-road heavy-duty trucks and buses that travel California roadways every day. The regulation would begin to take effect in the year 2012. The proposed rule will clean up trucks through engine retrofits and engine replacements. Trucks that contribute the most to diesel particle emissions will need to retrofit with soot filters. A gradual modernization of trucks will begin in 2012, so that by the year 2023, all trucks run the cleanest, using 2010 or newer model engines. The proposed rule will apply to diesel vehicles and shuttle buses greater than 14,000 pounds, gross vehicle weight rating. It does not include light-duty pickup trucks. Health benefits from the new rule will be significant. Without the new rule, ARB estimates that diesel truck emissions will result in 11,000 premature deaths over the next decade, at a cost of 70 to $89 billion to society. Emission reductions from the rule will significantly reduce this impact, and it will offer relief to thousands of people who suffer from asthma and bronchitis. Economists estimate that costs for the trucking industry will range between $3.6 to $5.5 billion between 2010 and 2021. Though that is a large number, when it is spread out over the large number of trucks and the 11-year compliance period, it will add only a few cents to the average cost of products hauled by trucks. And there will be financial assistance to truckers. ARB is allocating over $300 million of Proposition 1B funding to help truckers pay the costs of retrofits and engine replacements. The proposed truck rule is not the first measure ARB has considered to protect public health from diesel exhaust pollution. ARB has recently adopted regulations to limit emissions from cargo handling equipment, truck idling, refrigeration trucks, off-road construction equipment, harbor craft, ship auxiliary engines, port drage trucks, and large ships at berth. In addition, the requirement for cleaner fuel for railroads and ships already contributes to cleaner air around California ports and rail yards. ARB is also considering a regulation to clean up diesel soot emissions from ocean-going vessel main engines. All these efforts to reduce diesel air pollution stem from ARB's Diesel Risk Reduction Plan adopted in the year 2000. The on-road heavy-duty truck rule is a key element of ARB's mandate to meet federal air quality standards in the South Coast and San Joaquin Valley air basins. Statewide, over 90 percent of us live in regions that don't meet clean air standards. The proposed truck rule is an important part of cleaning up the air we breathe, and it will greatly benefit the people living in communities located close by transportation corridors. Thank you for watching this video.